अवज़बल्लिमशीम बिसमीम डियर स्टूडेंट्स असलम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मीटलेस डेज द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ दिस नावलेट इंट्रोडक्शन एंड स्टोरी लाइन ऑफ दिस नावल बेस्ड ऑन मेमोरीज ऑफ द राइटर डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन द फर्स्ट लेसन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस नॉवल मीटलेस डेज इज अ बुक दैट इन कंपास इज पर्सनल मेमोर मेमोरीज फ्रॉम द पर्सनल लाइफ ऑफ द राइटर द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान हैज बिन हिंटेड अपॉन हेयर एंड देयर एंड फीमेल पोजिशन विद इन पाकिस्तानी कल्चर इज स्पेशली द मेन फोकस of the novel three strands you may find in this novel first is the personal memories of the writer the second one is the development of pakistan as a country and the third main stream uh, focus is rather the main focus is uh, the position of female in pakistani culture and uh, society especially uh, of on lady her mother that is you may say uh, there are two persona on which the whole novel uh, uh, rests one is the person of her father is that is larry and the second dominating figure in the novel in these memories is the figure of her foreign mother so larry jumps from the present to the past from past to the present from the uh, united states to pakistan and vice versa and from the privileged world of yale and new haven to the traditional realm of cultural traditions both the clash of modern and traditional cultures as well as the exile versus the homeland is addressed in her uh, beautiful uh, prose Uh, dear students sara solari is adept in uh, painting the landscape and that is the ontological landscape ontology uh, is the study of being you may say a branch of uh, uh, metaphysics uh, or other bete ye wujood jo hai insani wujood usko डिबेट किया है शी इज इन द डॉल ड्रम्स एज ए राइटर याद रखें कि लैंडस्केप की जो उसने पेशकश यहाँ की है अपने इस राइटिंग के अंदर इन मेमोरीज के अंदर आल दो इट इज इन वी ग्रेटिंग एंड वेरी मच एनर्जाइजिंग जो तस्वीर कशी है दैट इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल श्योरली द family picnics in the lap of nature and uh, the descriptions are there lekin iske andar jo na wujood e zan jise kaha hai usne insaan ki haisiyat wujood uska is physical world ke andar metaphysics ka wujood ye zara usne isko jo hai na dono ko mix up kar diya hai dekhte hain zara please ek do jumle dekh le fir aapko mazid samajh aa jayegi the female pakistani author that is sara solari addresses the ontological metaphysical landscape of her narrative as the role of both a pakistani female and as an exile through pakistan's role as the alien double in relation to the west solari sees herself as the american pakistani and also as the alien double of her own culture through her misunderstanding of some of her own cultural traditions she sees herself as existing in between two cultures and two ideologies neither one nor the other right in the doldrums caught in between two fires rather kahin khadi nahi hai ek khala mein ek vacuum mein zinda hai use samajh nahi aa rahi hai ki to uh, where she belongs kya wo uski roots pakistani hai she has lost her roots she has flown away to america ab kya wo american hai she is rather caught in the dilemma of finding her own identity finding her own being in this landscape 
physical landscape of two cultures sara through her stories of her father's work for pakistan and his political machinations so that he presents history within a human framework uh, dear students as you know very well these expatriate uh, uh, pakistanis uh, the diasporic writers uh, are very much concerned about uh, exile this is not uh, a political exile you know it is a uh, self imposed type of exile or the partition from the country of their origin they have left their roots in search of some lucrative jobs or lucrative life or um, you may say they have run away from the country um, in search of a better living you may say thinking that their own culture is not providing them uh, whatever they need uh, for their lives to groom up तो बेटे ये जो एक्सपेट्रियाट पाकिस्तानी राइटर्स हैं दे आर कॉट इन द कन्फ्लिक्ट मेंटल स्परिचुअल फिजिकल तो जाहिर है ये जो ब्रीच uh, है अपनी ज़मीन को छोड़ कर जाना और वो ये इसका एहसास तो बहरल रहता है आप सत्तर अस्सी बरस भी वहाँ फ़ौर सर ज़मीन पर लाइफ और उसकी इम्यूनिटीज़ को इन्जॉय करें तो फिर भी कहीं ना कहीं मिट्टी की खुशबू जो है वो याद तो आती है तो दिस एग्जाइल टाइप ऑफ फीलिंग इज़ टू बी फाउंड एवरी वेयर इन दीज एक्सपैट्रियाट पाकिस्तानीज एंड फॉर्चुनेटली और अनफॉर्चुनेटली एज स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ पाकिस्तानी इंग्लिश लिटरेचर वी आर फेस्ड विद दिस डायलिमा ऑफ दीज राइटर्स एज स्टोरी टेलर्स एज पोइट्स एज नावलिस्ट वाट एवर द लिटरेचर वी आर फेसिंग इन अवर स्लेबी वी आर फेसिंग दीज एक्सपैट्रियाट्स एक्सेप्ट टू ऑफ दैम डॉक्टर इकबाल द इंडिजनस कलर इज देयर बट इन अदर ऑल अदर राइटर्स यू हैव सीन दैट दिस एक्सपैट्रियाटिज्म द एग्जाइल कंटेंट इज देयर लेट्स कम टू द पॉइंट अगेन she also illustrates her own imagining of what pakistan is and means to the exile her country becomes a homeland that encompasses both the remote and archaic world of traditions where the contemporary modern society of both the east and the west she is in the doldrums what is her country no is it pakistan or america through religion and the cultural development of the 20th century pakistan is presented as both jarring and formless within sulairi's prose unfortunately she paints a gloomy picture of the land the book is an intriguing look at life in pakistan and in the american pakistani community that sulairi has known herself her it remains a fascinating and haunting book uh, Uh, my dear students as you are well uh, versed with this term post colonialism this is a term that has come uh, to light uh, with uh, new movements of modernism post modernism and this is also a by product of uh, rather the new developments in our uh, world literature today post colonialism in meatless days is used like the english language itself self consciously by the author post colonialism and english have become not just historical links to the canon but tools used by the authors to communicate their unique non western visions of life discussion of post colonialism in these novels illustrates the confrontations of the two worlds western and colonialized but this is conflict this conflict is not bemoaned or decried at all in fact post colonial rhetoric metaphors and imagery have been appropriated in both as has the very use of english meatless days delivers a forceful image of a unique culture that has collided with western traditions in no uncertain way 
works such as these uh, the meatless days can illustrate the effect the fermenting residue of colonial power will ultimately have on nations confronting the dual identities of indigenous and imposed culture an apt analogy lies in the derivative of cricket played by the native populations of some indonesian islands and also of the subcontinent discouraged by british missionaries and early colonial outposts from pursuing their traditional form of mostly theatrical warfare and their pagan rituals they co-opted cricket which the colonials were eager to disseminate transforming it they play it as a multi-day ceremonial celebration in full traditional garb and with much of the showy and re showy feats and retreats characteristics of their original intertribal conflicts to so, cricket ko ek tool ke taur par pulaye ke taur par trick ke taur par jo hai ye use kiya jata hai and aur ye post colonialism nizam ko show karta hai aur sara slurry ne bhi jo hai isko hint out kiya hai aldo meatless days is non chronological non sequential you may say uh, a significant amount of the text addresses the partition of the indian subcontinent and the resultant confusion uh, just a very brief reference from the text itself when in 1947 mount betan's caesar's clipped at the map of india and handed over virginia fastidiously called a moth eaten pakistan those very people must have worked with speedy fidelity all through the crazy winter of 1946 realigning their special perspective with something of the maniacal neatness of a mughal miniaturist the religious ethnic conflict on the subcontinent that has become a prototype irredentist dispute of the kind now manifesting itself in many ex colonies especially ireland the middle east india and pakistan etc so bete ye jo partition of pakistan hai uske bhi hints jo hain wo kabhi kabhi aapko yahan is tehreer mein jo milenge but in a different uh, perspective usne apne अबू के परस्पेक्टिव से जैड एसलैरी के परस्पेक्टिव से जब वो इनको पेश किया है आपको पता है वो बड़े फैन थे कायद अजम मोहम्मद अली जिना के तो इस लिहाज से उसी एनक के साथ उसी लेंस के साथ जो है वो सारा सलैरी ने जो है वो पार्टीशन को टच किया है लेकिन डिबेट नहीं किया है डियर स्टूडेंट्स मीटलेस डेज इज अ कॉन्ग्लैमोरेशन ऑफ different and multiple themes meatless days colored by the effects of colonialism provides a unique vision that is not explicitly post colonial in nature meatless days treats multiple themes gender and sibling relations family life political strifes religion expatriatism landscape love for nature and many more but above all it is a personal novel a celebration and remembrance of her english mother in communicating her personal vision sulari necessarily writes about colonialism for she is a pakistani however as a celebration of her mother post colonialism is conceptualized as a communicating tool and metaphor only she asks how can i bring them together in a room that most reticent woman and that most demanding man about papa papa's powerful discourse would surround her night and day she is a shy lady the english lady and her father is a very dominating type of fellow and she as a uh, data is caught up in the dilemma of uh, uh, making uh, uh, them come closer as husband and wife Uh, meatless days my dear students succeeds as a vessel uh, for communicating a unique vision 
it is evident that soleri has become adept at utilizing her cultures encounters with the west to their own ends this co-optation of things western including english itself provides an ironically effective method of forcing westerns to reevaluate their beliefs in regard to the canon among other things in an era where post colonialism the third world and ethnicity are central concerns now the sensibilities that shape the canon may be ready to accept meatless days as a writing certainly her vision quality resourcefulness and ground breaking topicality recommend them to be appreciated as a new writing dear students as we are going through uh, this uh, novel in a haste rather trying to kill literature in a few days uh, unfortunately uh, due to lack of time uh, therefore you will uh, face condensed material from examination point of view only here the conclusion has been deleted by me although it was a very long um, debate oh, only a few sentences please uh, this uh, novel that is based on her personal memories as you know uh, know uh, very well uh, is uh, an amalgam of different themes different thoughts different visions of life slanting from present to past jumping from this world to that world of america giving us a picture of nature at one time and just flying away to the metaphysical world in the next moment just giving a hint of the history of pakistan the development of pakistan as a country its beginning and just going on to the western culture at the same time without considering the chronological sequence of events uh, of any kind thank you very much uh, dear students for participating in today's discussion see you soon in the next session inshallah about uh, sara solari thank you very much again see you soon till the next session it is goodbye and allah hafiz